Boone is a man with a troubled past. He was once a soldier of the New California Republic Army together with his best friend, Manny Vargas, a member of the prestigious First Recon, picked out at the firing range for his exceptional marksmanship skills. As part of the push into the Mojave, Boone was deployed to Camp Golf. He fought during the First Battle of Hoover Dam, as the frontline camp was hit by Legion attacks. The battle with the Legion affected him little. It was a retaliatory expedition of the Republic a year later, in 2278, directed against the Great Khans. Following raider attacks on NCR settlements, the army tracked down the Khans to Bitter Springs, a suspected stronghold. What they did not know is that it was the Khans' main settlement. Boone's fire team was deployed on Coyote Tail Ridge. Their orders were to cut off any Khans attempting to escape Bitter Springs down Canyon 37, to prevent them from flanking the main force. They were to shoot on sight. However, when Khans started coming down Canyon 37 in groups, the troopers noticed that they were largely non-combatants. Women, children, the sick and elderly, with wounded Khans in tow. NCR command did not understand what was happening and ordered the troopers to fire until they were out of ammunition. Boone and the rest of 1st Recon carried out the order. The Bitter Springs massacre would break Boone. Boone became a murderer, if not in the eyes of the Republic, then in his own. He left the army when his tour of duty ended, sick of war, to try and start everything from scratch. He joined Carla, a beautiful woman he met on the New Vegas Strip on leave. She was talkative, charming, proud, and everything Boone wasn't, but she had helped him forget. For a time, he was happy. He had married Carla and sometime in 2280, they settled in Novak, down Route 93. Boone found a job as town watchman, together with Manny Vargas, the best friend who enlisted with him and also his spotter. It was apparent that Carla was not pleased with living in Novak and made her opinions known. Jeannie May Crawford describes Carla as a cactus flower, in that she is pretty to look at, but hard to get close to. She was never content with the ordinary life of the small town. Carla's attitude toward the town caused distance between Boone and Manny, which continued after Carla's disappearance. Boone never told Carla about Bitter Springs, though he wished he'd done so when he had the chance. Legion Slavers snuck into Novak one night while he was on watch, and took Carla, pregnant at the time. They knew exactly when and how to come in order to sneak by him. Boone knew he was set up. He talked to Manny about the disappearance. Their friendship ended instantly when his friend couldn't mask the fact her disappearance made him glad, as Boone's wife often clashed with him. The distraught marksman took to the road, to track Carla down and save her. He found her at a Legion outpost southeast, near the Colorado River. She was being sold, with men bidding on her. The entire area was locked down, with legionaries swarming by the hundreds. Boone could only see one solution. He could not track her in Legion lands, nor could he abandon her to the Legion. Instead of subjecting her to the horrors of Legion slavery, he chose to take her life in a mercy killing, knowing that a rescue wasn't possible. He returned to Novak and resumed his duties as the town's watchman. He was apathetic, save for one emotion, hate. Boundless hatred for the Caesar's legion and the person who took his wife from him.